Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here. And in today's video, I want to talk about how much of the native cryptocurrency of Tezos called XTZ in order to potentially become a crypto millionaire. However, before I continue on any further, please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. These are all just hypothetical scenarios. And there's absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. In addition, the current circulating supply of XTZ is sitting at around 91% of the total supply. So just keep in mind that as the circulating supply changes, these calculations may be affected as well. But with that being said, let's now take a look at some hypothetical millionaire scenarios. If we take a look at this, if XTZ were to go to the price of $16, it would be a 20x from here. And at that point, you will need to own 62,500 XTZ in order to become a millionaire which by the way, as of right now, is worth $50,000. And now when I say this, some people, they may think, wow, 50 Gs, 50 grand, that's insane. And I agree, a lot of people, they don't even have that much in their entire crypto portfolio, let alone one single crypto. But I will say this, I still think that XTZ going to the price of $16 is quite amazing nonetheless. And here's my rationale. Because again, right, XTZ from this point, just going to the price of $16, it's a 20x from here. So if hypothetically, if I were to put $1,000 into XTZ right now, and let's say during the next bull run, XTZ were to go to the price of $16, you know, at that point, I would have managed to turn my $1,000 investment into $20,000. I mean, that's crazy. And of course, $20,000, you know, it's not going to make anyone a millionaire, but turning a grand into 20 grand, I think it's pretty amazing nonetheless. And now I want to talk about the next price target for XTZ and that is XTZ at the price of $20, which by the way is a 25X from here. And at that point, in order to become a millionaire, you would need to own 50,000 XTZ, which is currently worth $40,000 as of right now. And personally speaking, do I think that XTZ could hypothetically reach the price of $20 during the next bull run? I think it could hypothetically happen, and here's the reason why I think so. You know, first of all, I think that Tezos is an amazing blockchain. It's highly energy efficient, and it allows developers, brands, entrepreneurs, artists, and many others from all around the world to build and engage in a network of decentralized applications. Tezos is a blockchain that is designed to evolve. It's fast, it's security focused, and it's built to last. That's what she said. You know, quite essentially, the way I view it is that Tezos is purpose-built to power the Web3 revolution. However, it doesn't end there because on top of just strong fundamentals, I think that it should be noted how Tezos is doing very well as of right now, statistically speaking. For instance, on its network, it currently has a block height of over 4.5 million, and it even also has over 4.8 million accounts as well, which I think is very astounding. Furthermore, Tezos currently has a staking ratio of around 70%. Which, by the way, means that Tezos has a higher staking ratio than Avalanche, Polkadot, Phantom, Near, and Polygon. And now, it's taking nothing away from these other blockchains that I just mentioned before, but the fact that Tezos has a higher staking ratio than them, I think truly speaks volumes. I think Tezos is fundamentally fantastic. And let's not forget, right? On the Tezos ecosystem, there are many projects that are related to NFTs, DeFi, and blockchain gaming which I think could be so bullish for the future of Tezos because according to Grandview Research, they predict that the NFT market is expected to be worth over $211 billion by 2030. In addition, also according to Grandview Research, the DeFi market over the next seven years is expected to be worth over $230 billion. And last but not least, according to Grandview Research yet again, the blockchain gaming market is anticipated to be worth over $300 billion. So you gotta really think about that, right? The future potential of NFTs, DeFi, and blockchain gaming, it's no joke. And I think that moving forward, as these markets continue to grow, I think so will amazing projects like Tezos that do have amazing projects on its ecosystem that are related to NFTs, DeFi, and blockchain gaming. I think that the future of Tezos could look so unbelievably bright, much like the veneers that those celebrities have. You know, if anyone's ever wondering, hey, why do those celebrities have such bright teeth? It's because of veneers. But yeah, besides that point, I think Tezos as a blockchain, I really do think it's the complete package. I think it's fantastic. And when I take that into consideration, 
I really don't see why its native cryptocurrency called XTZ during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $20. At least that's the way I view it. And now, I want to talk about the next milestone for XTZ, and that is XTZ at the price of $25. And if XTZ were to reach $25, at that point, you would need to own 40,000 XTZ in order to become a millionaire, which by the way, as of right now, is worth $32,000. And I think a major catalyst which could very well allow XTZ to hypothetically attain the price of $25 during the next bull run is the fact that I do think that the blockchain technology market has a lot of potential. If we take a look at this, the global blockchain technology market by 2030 is expected to be worth over $1.4 trillion. A very crazy amount. And I think that moving forward, as the global blockchain technology market continues to grow, I think so will Tezos. And when I take that into consideration, I don't see why XTZ during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $25. And now, I want to talk about a massive milestone for XTZ, that's what she said, and that is XTZ at the price of $32. Which, by the way, is a 40x from here, and at that point, you will need to own 31,250 XTZ in order to become a millionaire. Which, by the way, as of right now, is worth $25,000. And now, when I say XTZ at the price of $32, you know, some of the Tezos haters out there, they may be pulling out their G-strings, their pom-poms, and they may be saying, oh, wow, that's crazy. You know, that is insane. That's ridiculous. But I disagree. As a matter of fact, I think it could hypothetically happen during the next bull run, and here's the reason why. And the major reason why is because I think that the next bull run could look so legendary. Because as of right now, there's actually more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. And just to put this into perspective, when compared to the 2021 bull run, at that time, there's currently over 100 million new crypto owners. Again, right, when compared to the 2021 bull run. So you gotta rethink really about that. The 2021 bull run already looked that unbelievably insane with over 100 million less crypto owners than right now. So you gotta imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now that we insert over 100 million new crypto owners. You know, in my opinion, when there's that many people owning cryptos, during the next bull run, the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, and as well as the altcoin season, I think all of that could look so insane. Much like Britney Spears, I'm just joking. And when I take into consideration just how insane the next bull run could be, and when I take into consideration the A-plus fundamentals of Tezos, I don't see why XTZ during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $32. At least that's the way I view it. I wouldn't be surprised if XTZ during the next bull run did hypothetically go to the price of $32 and during the process make all of those Tezos critics come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that used and rusted Bratwurst extender. If you know, you know. Gonna be a little bit embarrassing if you ask me, but hey, I'm extremely bullish on Tezos, and I think that XTZ is a sleeping giant. That's what she said. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.